In this video, Garrett Hill, a living kidney donor and the founder and CEO of the National Kidney Registry, and Dr. Robert Montgomery, chair of the Department of Surgery and director of New York University's Langone's Transplant Institute, discuss the side effects of immunosuppression and how those side effects can be minimized by getting a low epilet mismatch transplant. What are the kind of main side effects that we're trying to um, minimize with lower immunosuppression? What are the kind of the key things? So, so the, the main side effects that, that patients who are on standard immunosuppression um, will get um, are an increased risk of infections, an increased risk of certain types of cancer. These are sort of the, the long-term um, side effects and risks, a worsening of their, potentially a worsening of their blood, high blood pressure, their hypertension, potentially a worsening or a development of um, new diabetes. Um, some patients um, will have uh, weight gain um, and some patients will have um, you know, a worsening of cardiovascular disease. And then sort of all of these, what I guess many people would consider to be more minor side effects, like tremor, like this feeling of being on edge all the time, problems with sleeping. Um, those are kind of the, you know, the, the side effects that really can affect quality of life. And patients who are taking immunosuppressive drugs, um, when they take quality of life um, uh, tests, you know, do uh, complain more about their quality of life not being what it could be. Um, and so, so all of these things, you know, are are really important in the short term and especially in the long term. And in addition to that, tacrolimus can actually um, affect the longevity of the kidney because it causes um, less blood flow um, through the kidney, which can lead to you know, long-term damage, scarring of the kidney and that sort of thing.